One of the interesting things about the North Loop is you have all these little creek sections you have to hike over. If you sell a boat, you're going to risk. Yeah, the sound of that's a little scary. You can see there's a diamond straight ahead of that tree. In the direction where they're hiking. Got a pretty exposed section of the creek. Look at this. You are hiking creekside. You can see this. A frozen creek. Very interesting. You can see it meandering over here to the left. And this will have a national forest. Snowy winter wonderland. Seems safe to be hiking beside it and at a few times crossing it. You do want to be conscious of the fact that that's a potential danger and act accordingly. But look at these dead on straight views. This is gorgeous. So we continue along North Loop. There's our mountain friend and this is our path. See this blue diamond right here on the tree. There's something magical about Central Oregon in winter. Looks like a section of the creek right here. We'll see where we're at relative to North Block Shelter, which is our current destination. Keep cleaning these little animal prints, pretty cool. Some deer and some rabbits. So here's two butte cutoff. Currently on the North Loop. Our blowout shelter is 0.6 miles. So here's our two butte cutoff. 0.6 miles to blowout shelter. This way, let's keep going. Oh, this is a particularly gorgeous section of trees. Snow flocked, snow flecked. As we continue to hike along, there's one land on North Loop. Blue Diamond. Something magical about this snowy winter wonderland. Got a fresh air, crisp, fresh air. The smell of pines and hemlocks. And nature. You can see the sun trying to break through the very ominous clouds over there. That's beautiful. And another blue diamond Phillips, as we like to call them. This beautiful pinerific section of the forest. We're right on the edge right now of Willamette National Forest and Deschutes National Forest. In fact, we might have already crossed into Deschutes. Snow is starting to gently fall. You've got the mighty, mighty towering three finger jack off in the horizon. And got this gentle snow flurry, winter wonderland, snowy forest magic that we are currently hiking through. Oh, this rock, look at this. Funny how there's no snow on the rock. Definitely our steepest section yet. 
look at this gorgeous pine tree section. Look at this. This is spectacular. If you're a fan of Deschutes National Forest and pine trees, this would be a magic zone for you right here. It's pretty awesome. So I walk over to Booty Creek. And then maintain situational awareness of this this sea of beauty. Over here, oh, I interest you in some pines, snow flecked, snow flocked, so gorgeous. I do fancy myself a bit of a pine tree enthusiast, it's a pretty magical section. Thoroughly convinced we have crossed into Deschutes National Forest from Willamette National Forest based on the different ecological footprint of pine trees rather than old growth. I did not see a sign. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I could have missed it in the snow. Or maybe there's no signage. Either way, I think we are in Bishop's National Forest. Perhaps because of my bias of probably being more of a fan of the Shoots National Forest over Lamb National Forest. I do feel like the beauty is amped up a bit. I'm getting some shots of Three Fingered Jack and of Mount Washington. We have to be within spitting distance of North Block Shelter at this point. Can't be more than a tenth or two. I'm assuming we're going to be coming upon it very shortly. Oh, look at that. You got a beautiful Three Fingered Jack. In the ethereal mist, the fog, you got this incredible Deschutes National Forest, Pine Tree Forest, and this white flecked, white flocked, snowy winter wonderland. What is not to love about this area? I gotta say, here at Ray Benson, everybody does the South Loop to Brandenburg Shelter, and that is beautiful. I have that hike available here, all the videos, but don't overlook or sleep on the North Loop. I mean, look at this, this is gorgeous. The straight on shot, as I post hole of Three Finger Jack. And you got this beautiful pine wonderland. This is, uh, this is a gorgeous area. And I am gaining confidence for every step that North Pole Out Shelter Rustic Lock like Cabin Shelter is just ahead. Narrow Pine Passageway. These are some mighty fine pines. Boris Deschutes National Forest. See our blue diamond. Sea of Pines, anyone? This is Deschutes National Forest. We've got an ethereal fog on our friend across the way. The mighty Three Finger Jack. A little bit of snow flurry in the air. For only 23 degrees as we continue along. You can hear the wind is starting to pick up. And we are at our final intersection before North Blowout Shelter. The snow is coming down upon us. As we continue along. And we are seconds away. We're here at North Blowout Shelter here at Ray Benson Snow Park, Central Oregon. And we made it. Got some heavy, thick snow coming down. Let's go take a look inside. Classic A-frame log cabin design. Got what I like to call a classic moleskin style opening. Rustic style A-frame log cabin shelter. Lots of pre-cut firewood. Beautiful wood burning fire stove. And look at this. The beautiful craftsmanship construction, absolutely epic. Last but not least, we have a plaque dedicated to the Oregon Nordic Club built in 2006, the North Blowout Shelter. Oh, this is awesome. It feels good having these around the forest. You always want to have a safe experience, but you know that things go wrong. You've got some safety. I'm standing here outside of North Blowout Shelter here at Ray Benson Snow Park, to Houston National Forest Central Oregon. It's a lot of nomenclature. We pan around here. I just hiked a couple miles with my Actrax on to this beautiful A-frame log cabin shelter. Today is December 24th, 
tree. It is the day before Christmas, maybe Christmas Eve. I'm gonna come back here and take a look. Look at that. That is gorgeous. We've got a swirling snow and a log cabin with a snowy roof. This, my friend, is absolutely beautiful. The beautiful North Lodge Shelter.